Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Aretha Burnside. I'm a graduate student at Chamberlain University, currently in course number NRS 582NP. Dr. Melanie Law is my professor. The subject I choose to research and present is obesity mainly because of its prevalence and long-standing presence and negative effects on the families in Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham is known as the magic city because of the seemingly magical speed it grew and prospered in the steel industry. It is a great city with a southern staple of great soul food. You can go to several restaurants in the city and eat delicious soul food as if it were in your own mama's kitchen. Obesity is characterized by excessive body fat. This excess in body fat can lead to the health problems like heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and certain types of cancer. Addressing obesity is so important. It is for several reasons. Decreasing health consequences and complications like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney disease as a result of the high blood pressure. The main goal is to improve overall health and quality of life for the residents of Birmingham, Alabama and their families. Body mass index is a measurement of body fat based on height and weight. BMI of 30 or more is considered obese. This obesity percentage in Birmingham, Alabama is 38.3%. This is unfortunately higher than the national average, putting the lives of Birmingham residents at risk for the varied consequences of obesity. Factors to consider in obesity that are most important are individual choices, lifestyle habits, and genetics. The best way to improve your chances of avoiding or improving obesity is making healthy lifestyle choices like eating healthier foods, choosing to walk more, finding something you like to do, move more, and decreasing the amount of empty calories that have little to no nutritional value. Nowadays, there are programs designed to help lose weight by promoting certain pre-planned and pre-packaged foods to keep caloric intake low. There are plentiful programs designed to boost metabolism as well as to help burn calories, reduce appetite, and produce weight loss. Pharmacologic options have gained popularity for these benefits. Lastly, bariatric surgery is very effective but comes with many post-operative risk. Surgery should be the last resort after other methods have been tried due to these risk and post-operative complications. The best and most sustainable recommendation is improved lifestyle changes, walking, eating, more fresh fruits and vegetables, and getting proper sleep are key components in lifestyle changes. These are my references, and thank you for listening.